Hey, Denelm High School, this is Mr. Aiden, and I'm going to be detailing a projectile motion problem today, a full projectile motion problem. And if you take a look here, we have a baseball that's going up into the air at 30 degrees with 30 meters per second. Now, the first thing we want to do in any of these types of problems, if you see anything at an angle, we want to split it up into components. We want to split it up into a velocity in the x and a velocity in the y. And our equation for the velocity in the x is going to be vx equals vr cosine of theta. And our equation for the y is going to be vy equals vr sine of theta. So if we take a look at the, v, the velocity in the x, the vx, we're going to have 30 cosine of 30 degrees, which will give us a velocity in the x to be 26 meters per second. The velocity in the y is going to be vr, which is 30, sine of 30 degrees, which will give us a velocity of 15 meters per second. Now, we have all the information we need in order to find the range, the height, as well as the time. If we take a look at the x direction, we only have one equation we can use in the x, which is vx equals dx over t. We know the velocity in the x is 26 meters per second, but we don't know the displacement in the x, which we call the range, or the time. So let's go over to the y. With the y, we have two different equations we can use. We have vf equals vi plus at. And what we're going to do is take a look at the second half of the problem so we can make everything positive. The final velocity was the same as that initial velocity, that 15 meters per second. The initial velocity is going to be 0. The acceleration is going to be 9.8, and our time is going to be t, of course. For time, we're going to calculate out to be 1.53 seconds, but that will only be half of the time, since we're only looking at the second half of the problem, which means the whole time in the air is going to be double that. It's going to be 3.06 seconds. Now, that's going to help us out, because when we take a look coming back over to the x direction, we now know the velocity in the x is going to be 26 meters per second. The distance in the x, or the range, is what we're going to try and find. The time, the whole time, is going to be 3.06 seconds. So we can find the displacement in the x, or we call that the range, to be 61.2 meters. Now, we can find the height. The height is, of course, in the y. And we can go to our equation of d is equal to vit plus one-half at squared. Now our distance is going to be our height, of course. That's what we're trying to find. Our velocity in the y initially, again, we're taking the second half of the equation, is going to be zero, of course. We have one-half. We can take the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.8. And our time, since we're looking for the height, and that's only going to be one-half of the problem, we're going to take the time to be half of the time, which will be 1.53 and we're going to square that guy. Which means the height, or the displacement in the y, is going to end up being 11.5 meters. So something we want to remember about this problem is the x direction to find the range, or the velocity in the x, we're going to use the whole time. To find anything in the y, whether we talk about the height, or we talk about the velocities in the y, or the time in the y, we're going to use half of the time. And I uh, hope this helped. This is Mr. Aiden. And uh, we'll tune back later. Thanks.